Don't get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So tell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So the other day, uh, Dickless Cannon, whoops, sorry, aka Nick Cannon. He was being interviewed and he basically was saying that he admitted to feeling guilty um, because he has all these kids and he doesn't have enough time to spend with them. And what I find very interesting is that the only reason why he's saying this is because Mariah Carey came out. Remember last week I had talked about this. Mariah Carey came out and she was upset because she felt like Nick Cannon was not spending enough time with the twins. This man has so many children and he has a 12th child on the way. So this is what I wrote. <laughs> I'm always writing some shit. This is what I wrote. <laughs> so I took to Instagram and I said, but when I said that Father Abraham needed more than just money to actually be a good parent, several dusty kings were arguing me down in the comment section. Now he's admitting that he can't properly care for 11 plus kids at the same time. Shake my head. Funny how he's coming to this goofy realization when baby number 12 is on the way. Clown face emoji. So, you know, like I said, it wasn't just me, but a lot of people were saying this for months. There is no way that you can properly care for 11 children in six or whatever, how many different homes. OK, it is hard enough for a two parent household to care for different children. It's just, it's hard. It's not easy being a parent. It's not easy parenting, especially when you have to work full time. Money does not equate time. So Mariah Carey came out and she blasted him. So then he felt the need to talk about it. So then little Duval said this and Nick caught himself trying to punk little Duval, I guess. Uh, let me show y'all this. Give me just a second. So this is what Lil Duval said here. The Shade Room posted it. Little Duval says, it took 12 kids to realize this laughing emoji. So Nick Cannon replies back and says, if you find something funny about this clip that deserves a LOL, like, you know, a laughing emoji, call me directly. I will explain everything to you face to face. And then little Duval came back and basically apologized, um, you know, to Nick Cannon. And I felt like he didn't owe Nick Cannon no type of damn apology. Apologize for what? The truth is the truth. He put this ghetto soap opera out there for the world to digest and have opinions on. Little Duval don't owe him no damn apology or explanation. He said what the hell he said. You're out here acting like this is some new damn news. You're on baby number 12 crying about you don't have enough time to spend with all these children. Well, duh. We said that when you was having all these babies, when you were on baby number four, we were like, whoa, slow down, Nick. But see, he thought it was funny because at this point, it seems like he's just addicted to just having children. But then he's not realizing that he actually has to raise them outside of just cutting a check. Well, now it seems to be that there's more drama in Nick's little haram. Um, the dark-skinned baby mama, I guess she thought her life was going to be different because she was the exception to the rule. And she's finding out, no, you just like the other little racially ambiguous ones. Your child will be ignored just as well. So she took the social media to throw shade. So we wrote, Nick Cannon recently spent time with baby mama Bree Taisi uh, and their son Legendary to see Santa Claus before posing alongside his other baby mama, Abby De La Rosa, and their children together. His baby mama, Lanisha Cole, appeared to shade him on her Instagram stories on Sunday. She noted that their daughter, Onyx, who is three months old, is incredibly blessed and is surrounded by so much love 
And it's not fake IG photo op love. It's real day in, day out love. Which I thought this was tacky. Because you're attacking your very own sister wives. So let me show y'all. These are the pictures. So this is him, you know, fronting for social media, acting like him doing a photo op with Santa means anything. So that's him with uh, De La Rosa and the twins. And that's him with the Asian Bay mama, uh, Brie. And she wrote, Daddy and I look legendary. Oh, oh, took. Daddy and I took legendary to meet Santa. Okay. Then she wrote, this is kind of small. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, can't. There's no need to, oh yeah, then she was trying to check her followers. There's no need to mention me or send me anything to my DMs. This has nothing to do with me and no need to be messy. It's all love over here. And so this is the part where she was saying that, you know, her daughter is blessed and she doesn't, and it doesn't include fake IG photo ops. So everybody just basically roasted her in the comments. I, you know, put a, oh, not this 666 likes. Let me go ahead and like this, honey. 667, the devil is alive. Uh, I wrote a, you know, a tiny violin and two clown emojis and kept it pushing. There's really nothing else to say about these people. Um, she's getting the same treatment that everybody else is getting. Why is she upset? It doesn't make any sense. You guys knew what it was. So why throw shade at the other baby's mother? Why are they all of a sudden doing photo ops? You're doing the same thing. You decided to be baby mama. And what is she, number 10 or 11? I think she's number 10. So you decide to join in on this circus and now you're mad because you're you're a part of the clown in this circus. So I feel no ways about her. I, I think it's kind of wrong for her to throw shade at the other women. You're a clown too. You know, you're part of the photo op, you know, too. You're literally taking your child who's three months old to go see Santa by herself. That is sad. And then somebody in the comment, I think it was Amber, said that she has a new man. Her child is three months. Like, it, it doesn't even make any sense. If you can have a new man and your child is three months, why even be a part of Nick's Haram? She could have just had a child with somebody else who didn't have a child. So that way her child could have the support of both parents full time. Even one of the baby's mothers was even saying that they have to call his assistant to schedule time. So I, I don't think any of these women thought this all the way out. They thought this was cute. They wanted the attention. They thought it was a quick bag. But now they're realizing that they have little human beings who need that male energy. And he's not going to be able to provide that because he's only one man. Okay, your king can't be in multiple places at once. But when everybody was saying this, everybody was jealous. Everybody was a hater. But now that Queen Mariah has spoken, now all of a sudden, yeah, it is kind of hard. Yeah, it is a lot of work. Oh, boy, with speed. No, I don't feel bad for him. It's ridiculous. And it's sad because so many people were excusing this just because he's rich. Having money doesn't mean anything. It's about spending time. It's about being there for your children. Money does not mean anything. Money is nice. It helps. But he's about to miss half of these children because they're all literally within a few months of each other. He's going to be missing half of their first steps. Imagine not being there to see your child's first steps. It's one thing if you're at work or, you know, you're busy. But no, you're at this baby's mother's house. But this child is about to take his first steps. This is just insane. The whole thing is just giving me just, you know, dusty black king energy. <laughs> and now she's mad. Be mad at yourself. Don't come trying to cuss out the followers. Don't send me nothing to my DM. We're going to keep sending you shit to your DM. You joined this circus shit. Well, not me because I have a life. But whoever's sending their shit to her DM, they're going to keep doing it because that's what social media does. You know, social media messy as hell. Oh, at such and such. You see this? <laughs> Social media is messy. As soon as some shit go down, they're going to be adding you. That's what they do. Can't yell now and try and distance yourself. You joined this circus. We didn't know who that, you knew who she was, but we didn't know you was pregnant by him until you made this grand announcement. Girl, bye. Y'all going to keep on getting tagged and shit. <laughs>
If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.